I was saying before about other sports. Do you follow all of them uh, you know, very closely? You, you really seem to be a fan. I'm definitely a fan. I'm a basketball fan, NBA. I know Michael Jordan. Uh, he's a good guy. Magic Johnson. So I'm a fan in that aspect. And also, I'm a Pittsburgh Pirate fan. Go Pirates. Uh, <laughs> they played here a few times uh, against our AAA team, the Buffalo Bisons. And I get to meet some of the guys, Bonds, Bonilla, and definitely the, the manager, Leland. So uh, I've always been a Pirate fan. And uh, I'm just a sports nut. You were a 20-point-a-game guy in basketball in high school. Did you play baseball, too? No, we didn't have a baseball team. I played up until the age of about 14 or 15, the Pony League. Uh, but once I got into high school, the only thing we really had was basketball, football, and golf. And I played in all three of those. And if I guess the first track, now nah, I wouldn't play in track. I'm not fast enough. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think so. Okay. We'll take a call from Doug in Baltimore. Do you have a question for Jim Kelly? Yeah, Jim. Who yes. made the hardest hit on you during your career? Who laid the hardest hit on me in my career? Probably my brother Pat when I was about 10 years old in the backyard. Boy, I can remember that when I had a concussion. And uh, I never played football with him again. He was always a bully of the family. But no, uh, I've been hit a few times by, by a couple of different individuals. I mean, Andre Tippett is definitely uh, one has laid a good lick on me. Uh, Joe Klecko from the Jets. And I probably keep going on. But uh, in the last couple of years, I haven't had too many licks. And knock on wood, hopefully they have continue. Are there some that you still remember the way it felt? Uh, yeah, I remember uh, my first game against New York Jets in Rich Stadium, my first start in 1986. Uh, I was up audibleizing to a play, and nobody even moved an inch except the nose guard. It was Joe Klecko. He leveled me pretty good. I remember that hit. Welcome to the NFL. <laughs> okay, Adam in Richmond. Welcome to Shaft Talk. you have a question for Jim Kelly? Yeah, I do. Hi, Jim. How you doing, Adam? Um, I was just wondering, over the years you've played, do you have a favorite play that you've made with the Bills? A favorite play? Yeah, I can remember one. Uh, I handed the ball off. We are in a shotgun formation. I handed the ball off to Rob Riddick, okay? He's uh, running the ball wide right. I take off down the sideline to the left, and he throws me a pass, and it's completed for 35-yard gain. But the good thing, well, I guess you could say the bad thing about it is there's a defensive back about 15 yards behind me, and he caught me. He ran me out of bounds, so it was a play. I was a receiver for once, and I enjoyed it. Okay, we try every week on this show to have a phone call from a mystery caller, somebody who knows you or you know. We have oh, someone no. now, and, and uh, it, it's going to be a male, so don't don't get too nervous. It'll be a male, and um, would you like to say hello to Jim Kelly? Hello, Jim. How are you tonight? This is Howard oh, Schnellenberger. Oh, <laughs> like, I couldn't tell the voice. <laughs> how you doing, Coach? Yes. The thing I want to know is if uh, you win the championship this year, uh, are you coming to the Derby or are you going to go down to uh, Disney World? Oh, uh, how about both? <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing both, but I'll tell you what, Coach. The I, I, first time I missed the Derby was this past year, and the reason why is Coach Levy scheduled our mini camp on the same weekend as the Derby. And, Coach, I don't know if you knew this, but Will Wolford told our coach that his wife was in the hospital and he had to go see, you know, go check up on her, and she was getting a corn taken off her, her foot. That was his excuse. He got to go to the Derby, and we got to sit at home and uh, practice in minicamp. But, Coach, uh, uh, hopefully I'll be there with you again this year. I should explain that the caller is Howard Schnellenberger of the University of Louisville, who coached Jim Kelly at Miami. And, Jim, you got hurt the third game of your senior year, so could you go back to Louisville and play eight more games for Howard? Well, that sounds good to me. From what I saw the other uh, week, and their starting quarterback got hurt, and... Uh, I've always been a big Howard Schnellenberger fan. Uh, he's, he was like a father to me in, in college, and both his wife, Beverly, too, have been very super with me. And uh, this is a guy that I look back to and, you know, knock on wood, if I ever make it to the Hall of Fame coach, I would love you to get up there and speak for me. And I'm saying it now, and I'll remember that. Hopefully I'll get that chance. And we'll play for him against Florida State in a few weeks. I'm sorry? You'll play for him against Florida State in a few weeks. Yeah, okay. Uh, Florida State's tough this year. <laughs> Howard?